Hello, my friends. Good afternoon. Welcome to another Crafting Corner with Stephanie. Stephanie's Crafting Corner or Crafting with... I don't know. I don't know. I don't make this stuff up. Um, I, my name is Stephanie Bernard, along with my husband, uh, who's off camera. We own a company called The Stamps of Life. Let's do our first, let's do our shout outs. I have a lot to share with you guys today. A lot, a lot, a lot. Hi, Katie Clements from North Carolina. Hi, Kathy. Hello. Hi, Sally Joe. Hi, April. Good morning. Uh, oh, good afternoon. Um, hi, Candy in Washington. Hi, Loretta. Hi, Barbara. Um, Barbara says my parents uh, drug us around camping for 18 years when I was a kid. Um, that's funny. I loved camping as a kid, and I have a story to tell you about that in just a second. Hi, Jeffrey. Um, hi, Kathy in Santa Fe. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Janet in cooler Western Maryland. Hi, Chris. Hello. Oh, today is her birthday. Happy birthday, Chris. Yay, happy birthday. We need like a like confetti or something to come down or something. Um, hi, Karen in Colorado. Hi, Jill. Hi, Russ. Hello, hello. Hi, Deanna. Hi, Annette. Hi, Pammy. Hi, Lainey and Sarah in Orlando. And Lainey is in Indiana. Hi, Dawn from Wisconsin. Hi, Stephanie Z. Uh, hi, Carol in Breezy Corona, she said. Hi, Debbie in Nebraska. Hello, Melody. Hello, hello. Hi, Tina in North Carolina. Packing up her craft room. Oh, she's going to do a craft make craft room makeover. Oh, those are so fun. Those are so fun. It's always like the calm before the storm, right? You have to make a mess to make it better. Um, hi, Julie. Got her rainbow kit today. Oh, and she says the watermelon color is awesome. I know. I told you. See, it's hard to show it on camera how wonderful it is, right? I mean, it really, really is. Um, Sorry. Hi, Belinda. Hello from Southern California. Hi, Gloria in Wisconsin, Milwaukee. Um, hi, Cynthia on the sailing vessel. Cynthia, I still don't know all about this the sailing vessel Stargazer in Tacoma, Washington. Like, does it travel the world or do you just stay in Washington? I haven't gotten that part. You got to tell me. Um, because I want to know. Gloria wants to remind me, remind me to tell you all, remember, uh, please click thumbs up and share and subscribe. Please, please, please. Though Just you hitting that little sh uh, share or like or love or whatever helps us. I know it's crazy. I know it sounds silly, but the algorithms that all these big social media companies do, if you say this is good, you're telling them it's important. So you're clicking like, and then they let more people see it. Hi, Jeannie. Hi, Carol. Hello. Hi, Ro hi, Rhoda. Hi, Diane. Hi, Sherry in North Utah. Um, let's see. Oh, who's, who's, uh, is it Deborah's 35th, 38th wedding anniversary? I think it is. I saw somebody replying to that. Renee says, love the sign. Thank you. Um, I put that up today. You're the first person to notice it, or at least the one first person I noticed your comment. Um, it looks beautiful. Kitty, hang on. Sorry. Oh my goodness. It's been a long day. Um, Kenny, do you notice shadows? Do you guys see shadows behind the sign? Cause look at the sign. I, my hand is behind it. See, um, it like is away from the wall, but do you see shadows? I really don't see shadows. Do you Kenny? We no. see shadows in real life. I don't see any. You don't see any. That is good. That is good. Oh, Bonnie is in Fountain Valley. Hello. Right down, right down the um, street. Hi, uh, Love Color says, like, I love, I like your um, Stamps of Life sign. Thank you. Hi, Tammy. Oh, hi, Tia. Tia, mom told me that you t are 10. And I still think of you as little tiny Tina. Tia, I can't believe you're 10 already. That's awesome. You're growing up so fast. Oh, it's just crazy how fast your kids grow. Uh, so hi, Tia. I'm glad you're here. Hi, Amy. Amy says no shadows. Love Color says no shadows. Yay! I'm so excited. Literally, you guys should have heard me cry. Oh, I'm not crying, really. But like going, no, I don't want shadows. And Kenny and I were trying to put lights up there. And we were trying to do all this weird stuff. But um, I said, we just got to go live. Now, it, it's a clear acrylic. So the pink is not as bright as I would like. But I think on video... If it were any bright, if it was our real bright color or bright pink, I think it might distract too much. So I think maybe it's more subtle. So I think it's a little, I think it's better than I expected. Um, Karen says, I missed the torty. Got back from Hawaii where we swam with sea turtles. <gasps> Karen, turtles are, sea, ocean, sea turtles are like really, really high up there in the world with me. It's tortoises and turtles. What else is it, Kenny? 
Um, <clears throat> things you love? Yes, animal wise. Oh, dolphins. Oh, dolphins, yes. Dolphins. dolphins. Dolphins and sea turtles pretty much are my ultimate, ultimate. Other people's dogs. Other people's dogs. That is true. <laughs> I love other people's dogs. Like, really love them. Um, hi, Tammy in Northern California. 92 degrees. Whoa! Linda says, love the sign. Thank you. Irene says, love the sign. Thank you. The pink on the sign matches the desk organizer pink. I planned that. <laughs> but it sounds good, right? Okay, lots to talk about tonight. The first thing I need to talk about is, hello, do you love the club set? I, we've had so many requests for a camper and I kept like just going because mm, it was hard not to tell you. But yes, we finally came out with a camper. Um, really quick story. We, I grew up camping with my parents on the beach, which was really fun. I think that's why I love the beach so much. And we have a lot of um, state California parks where you can park, you literally can park right next to the sand and camp there. Or in Carlsbad, you park on a high cliff and camp there and then you walk downstairs and there's the beach. So it's always been really fun for me. Well, fast forward and my kids started camping with my parents because you know, I, I grew up and I had to work and stuff like that. So my kids would always go camping with my parents. Now, when we, ooh, oh, when we would camp, um, when I was little, now, keep in mind when I was little, like when I was nine, um, we would camp in my grandpa's old camper. Now, this camper was so old, the first time my mom borrowed it, she the curtains were really dirty, so she took them off and she washed them and they literally fell apart. That's how old the fabric was. <laughs> okay, just to give you an idea. So my mom had to make new curtains, it was kind of funny. Um, but this camper was very interesting because for the aerodynamics for the air dynamic situation like on freeways you literally would put this like jack into it and you would crank it up so the whole half of the camper shell it's sort of like what are those other things kenny that they call like deanna toby have one where it's like a trailer thing and then you crank it up and then it goes up like a tent Pop out, or something. pop out tent or pop pop out something this is a literal hard shell the entire thing is hard shell camper that my dad would crank it and and it would go up 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 so i have no idea what year it was i'm thinking i mean it must have been like 60s or late 50s okay well my my daughter kirsten would always go camping in that and she loved that camper i think she loved the experience of camping but she loved that camper so much well my grandpa eventually sold it without telling our family and Kirsten, above everyone, was so devastated. Years later, she told me, um, because Kirsten's always had some health issues and stuff, and never this bad, but she said, Steph, well, she calls me Steph. She goes, Steph, if I ever, ever get to do like, you know, the Make-A-Wish Foundation, I'm like, Kirsten, you're not nearly like that. She goes, I know, but if I ever get to do the Make-A-Wish, I want someone to find that camper and bring it back to me. That's my only wish. It makes me want to cry for that kid. I mean, that's how much that kid loved that camper. Um, I'm sure it's at a junkyard somewhere, but anyway. Okay, thank you. Terry says it's a high-low camper. Yes, it literally was, it was, it was, I think it was probably built in the 60s. It had to have been, because when I stayed in it when I was nine in 79, um, it, it was extremely old. <laughs> it was probably 20 years old when I stayed in as a kid. So pretty crazy. Um, Sharon says my mom won a pop-up camper on the Price is Right years ago. Ah, that is awesome. That's crazy. Your mom on the Price is my mom was on the Price is Right when I was five. I was in kindergarten. Of course, back then we didn't have VCRs or anything. So my teacher brought her TV to school so we could all watch it. And so all the little kids were sitting around the TV to watch my mom on TV, and I was ticked. I was very upset. I did not want anyone to watch my mom on TV. So I went and played in housekeeping while everyone else watched my mom on national television. True story. Okay. Camper. So love it, love it. Okay. The next order of business, and if you're not in the club, you're totally missing out. I'll talk about it maybe a little bit later, but I'm going to use the camper set tonight. I'm gonna, I have at least two sneak peeks for you tonight. Didn't even tell Ken. I have it. Uh, for sure two sneak peeks for you tonight 
Also, Ken is sick. Ken is very, very sick. <laughs> Ken is so sick that he woke up this morning to exercise and he only made it to the couch and went back to sleep. Is that true? Yes. It is. So, so say hello to everybody so they can hear how horrible you sound. Oh, his mic's not even on. Hello, everyone. I am sick. <laughs> <laughs> If you would Sorry. pray for me, that would be awesome. Because I'm not feeling that great, but I'm, I think I'm feeling better than last night. Yeah. So I'm on the way to recovery, I guess. <laughs> that is good. That is good. But I still don't understand. Um, so, ooh, Sharon says she won the showcase. That's awesome. Ooh. Um, that is awesome. Poor Ken Dibby says, I know. And then Sandy says, but Ken never gets sick. Truth. That is true. And <laughs> Never that, say never. Never say never. The funny thing is, is as soon as he told me he was getting sick, my throat started to hurt. I, it's like crazy, but I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Um, so hopefully, and he did not, this time, he did not get it from the babies. Who were you kissing on that you got a cold? I don't know. That's what I want to know. I can't figure it out either. That's a little weird. Weird, weird Nobody's weird. been sick that we've been around. Nobody has been sick. So it's so weird. It's so weird. Oh, everybody's saying praying for you, Ken. You, you guys are you. so sweet. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate that. Thank you. Ken requires to call in sick, Ponzi said. Yeah, he the wishes. The show must go on. The show must go on. Now that I'm looking at the sign on the computer, on your computer, Ken, and it almost looks washed out too much. Mm -hmm. What if I went like this, just for kicks? Is that going to ruin everything? I just moved one light a little bit, so we'll see. Okay, I don't think I can even tell. Okay. <sighs> Ken, Ken, Camper. Camper, Ken. That sneak peek oh katie sent me a picture um of her cat because she's a crazy cat lady and she said i could show it and kenny hasn't even seen it yet i just got to go find it because she actually texted it to me okay so kenny you want to do three for me uh -huh. this oh hang on let me turn it this way okay this is butter the cat, the kitten cat, and look at what she's sleeping on. She is sleeping on a Stamps of Life t-shirt. So Katie sent this to me, whoops, Katie sent this to me and said, even Butter loves the Stamps of Life. Now, totally cute picture, right? My question to you, you want one? Mm -hmm. My question to everyone is, and to my husband, is why does my daughter have a Stamps of Life t-shirt on her kitchen counter? Because she misses her mom and she wants to like remember me. I don't know she why. She uses it for a dish towel. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she does. I'm still trying to figure that out. I, I don't understand it. Cynthia says, I live on a 38 foot sailboat. Wow, we usually travel the San Juan Islands. Had planned on going to Alaska, but not this year. Uh, oh, her husband's been ill. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, good, it's not COVID. That's good, Cynthia. That's good to know. Um, so sweet. I know. Isn't butter cute? I know. Butter is very sweet. Although I never see butter because I never go to Katie's house. But, um, oh, but uh, Gloria says butter is so cute. Looks like my cat Morris who will be turning 18 in September. April wants to know, are, are all your pets named after foods? I know. My family has a thing for food. I don't know what it is. It was totally unintentional. It started when I was nine when we had the dog Pepsi, which don't go there with me on why we named my dog Pepsi when I'm a Diet Coke girl. I have no idea how that happened. But we had Pepsi the dog, Candy the cat. I got her when I turned 16, so it was Sweet 16, so I named her Candy for Sweet. Then there was, who was next, Ken? Um, Boo-Boo. No, Boo-Boo Boo <laughs> wasn't a food. Boo-Boo was the only one that wasn't a food, I think. And then there was Miss Precious Cocoa Puff. <sighs> Okay, Cocoa. that was a, a, a Himalayan. Then there's Cheerio the cat. There's Butter for Katie. There's um, Cookie, of course. And then Kirsten named her dog Lemon. It's like, it's kind of weird. So whatever, I don't, I don't quite understand. Um, Amy says, you could make a cake with lemon, butter, and cookie. I know, isn't that funny? I know. Um, let's see. Uh, Susan says, my son was telling everyone he never got, he gets sick and a few days later he got a very bad sinus infection. Mm -hmm. You know what? Never say never, right? Susan, Susan, that's right. Okay. The other day, somebody had mentioned that they wished the 
ink pad, I'm sorry, the ink refills had the color on them. And I a thousand percent agree. The problem is, is I'd have to raise the price to $1.50 to make that happen, which is ridiculous, right? So I said, nope, just go the cheapy route. We're just gonna do black and white. Well, guess what, my friends? I came up with a tip that you're all gonna fall in love with. And I wanted to do it all to all of mine, but I didn't because I wanted to show it to you in person. Okay, so there it is. Look at this. Okay, let's do two. Uh, two. So there it is. This one is Pacific. I wish you could zoom in. Do you, are you gonna get like a remote eventually so you can like zoom in? Cause like they can barely, they can't read that very well. I know, I don't know. Okay, so what we're gonna do, and Kenny, you're gonna have to get me a tissue. Could you just run to the bathroom real quick and get me a tissue? Oh, stay on two, stay on two. Sorry, stay on two. What we're gonna do is I am, There we go. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to use my Pacific, whoops, whoops, there, Pacific ink pad, and I am gonna go over this. Watch this, you guys, what? Now that is really dark, but I can still read it, and hang on, Kenny's gonna get me a tissue, because look what it does. Look, here's a watermelon. Now I know what color it is, ah! I know, is that insane or what, you guys? Hang on, I'm waiting for my, my tissue. My toilet paper, thank you, baby. No I don't have any tissues in there, I just use toilet paper, I don't care. Toilet paper, tissue paper, it's the same thing. Now I'm gonna wipe it dry, now look. So you can still read it, and it says Pacific, but now at a glance I can tell that's blue, right? So let's do this again, because I got another one out. And let me just tell you guys, this is heavenly, I'm so excited about this. Ponzi says, poor Ken, let him rest today. Oh, he's, he took a three hour nap. Don't worry for him, don't worry about him. <laughs> okay, so here's grape and here's my grape, right? There's my grape. We're gonna do it again. We're just gonna go whoosh. Whoops, one more. Oh, one more, there we go. So now it says grape. Now watch, I'm gonna just rinse it off a little bit or, cause you know, when you get ink on the plastic, it's gonna wipe off, you know, you don't wanna get it on your hand. So use a tissue. But now, boom, I know that's grape. Is that like the awesomest tip? Um, please check your mic not clear now. Uh, huh. My mic's the same. Did you, is your mic off maybe? Maybe turn yours off? I don't know. But isn't that awesome? Now, ah! so now you can see, look at that. Look at that. Every time you do it, say, save a dollar, save a dollar fifty, save a dollar fifty, save a dollar fifty. So we're going to make our own. I'm, you guys, seriously, I want to pee in my pants because I'm so excited about this. So look at that. Okay, come on, round of applause for Stephanie. I deserve it, I deserve it, I deserve it. Okay, thank you, that was it. Okay, so that was my tip for the day. Now I gotta go do all of mine because I'm really excited about this. And we're just gonna put those over there for now. And then make sure this gets in a safe place, like the trash. Okay, that was tip one of the day. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna start working on the project. Yes, I am gonna actually make something, you guys, sorry. Sometimes I just get talking too much. Um, okay, voice is better, much better, somebody said, huh. Um, can you dip the cap top on it? No, Wendy, it'll just wipe off. It doesn't, it doesn't dry on plastic. It's not like a stays on ink, so it, it, it won't dry on plastic. Um, let's see, uh, Elizabeth says, my sister's cats are Sunday, Earl Grey, and Black Angus. Oh, that's funny. I used to work at the Black Angus. Okay, moving on. I've had a lot of requests, and you guys, I'm sorry, I have to take a drink, and I know you guys get so sorry. Okay, we've had so many requests for the dye that is in the card kit. Sherry says, I'm gonna go get my um, inks and, and ink pads. There we go, boom. Did you see that pop out? You in your card kit, got a pop-up, pop, I, what are we officially calling this? I don't remember what we officially called it. Rectangle pop-out insert die set. That's a mouthful. How am I ever gonna say that again? Not, okay, this pop-out thing. So we had a couple uh, requests, I think more than a couple. So um, we are going to do a card using that. But, we have to talk about how awesome this tri background is. I hope you got it, it did sell out. It'll be back in about 30 days, that's just how it works. I did ask him to put a rush on it though. Um, but let me just tell you, what was that beeping sound? Do you hear it? Mm -hmm. What? 
Yeah. I hear beeping sound. Okay. But what we're going to do is we're going to use this and I just need you to know you are going to use this way more than you thought. Just saying. Because there's going to be other things that you could interchange it with. Just saying. Just saying. Everybody's loving the ink thing. I know. I love mine. Um, uh, will there be a camper fold at Gloria? Not anytime soon because we just came out with this one, but eventually, absolutely, there will be. So um, the, uh, tr the trio background is going to be amazingly awesome, you guys. Do you have to use all three pieces together? No. Can you use one piece by itself? Sure. Can you use two pieces by itself? Of course. But wait, because, are you ready for this sneak there's peek? There's more. But wait, there's more. Because, let's do three. So here we have the die, and it has this fun little whoosh right there, right? Well, you of course need a die that does just these pieces. So like for example, there's a die that just does it solid, right? This die is coming along with something else soon to a theater near you, right? It's coming eventually to our website. But other dies in this format are coming also, okay? So this die is not coming by itself. It's coming with other dies, just a heads up. But it's gonna be really, really awesome. I know you're gonna love it, just saying. And in fact, I'm actually gonna use one of these pieces because on the front of my card, and I don't even think in all honesty, I don't even think I even cut out a card. Wait, let me see, did I? You know what, I think I did and I think it fell. So I'm gonna have to cut out another one. Okay, so let's grab a card base. And most of my card bases are right here. So A2 in size, uh, four and a quarter by five and a half card die. Why do you need one of these? Because it makes your life easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna grab artichoke. I honestly thought I already did one of these, which is so weird. Okay, so I'm gonna lay this down. And well, since you're gonna die cut, <clears throat> should I do our poll question right now? Sure. Oh, and speaking of die cuts, really quick, really quick. Kenny has a poll question for you, but really quick. I'm not using my MIDI right now because Katie stole it. Oh. So I need to get a new one. Just saying, Kenny. You need to order me a new one because Katie has my other one. She's already stolen it. Okay, go ahead now. You can okay, ask Okay, our question. poll question today. How many die cutting machines do you own? Stephanie, how many do you own? I think five. Stephanie's at five. So, okay, the first answer will be one, and then the second answer is two or three, and then four or more or none. So I'll post the questions right now, and make sure you answer the poll, okay? Yeah, Thank not you. on the chat. Make sure you don't answer on the chat. Oh my gosh, I'm crooked. Ugh. Okay, so here's my card base. Boom, done, look at that, A2 in size. Perfect, you don't have to worry about it. And then what I'm gonna do, so I think it's five. Five. I, I think I have five. Besides all the ones you've loaned out or given out. Well, if we count all of those, it's a little different. <laughs> okay, so now I have my card base. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to die cut my uh, tri background, and I am gonna use adhesive backed scraps so this one, I'm going to grab a blue. So I want to find a blue. Oh, the top I want to use like, ooh, you know what would be pretty? Is midnight for the top. Oh, is that gonna fit? Oh, it's not gonna fit, Oh, Don't you hate when it's not gonna fit your scraps? Okay. Um, and, and, ugh, I gave a lot of my scraps to Katie for the project she's working what on. What's she working on? Well, if I told you, I'd have to kill you. Oh, look, I found Is one that works. something for Father's Day? No, oh, please. Ah. No, it's something for Stephanie, her mother. Okay, so I'm gonna die cut that one really quick. Um, yeah, she's working on a project for me. A secret project? A se very secret project. But it still has nothing to do with the Stamps of Life t-shirt, so I still don't understand that one. Which, I gotta ask her. Okay, so I die cut just the top of this, right? Look at that, I had the perfect scrap for that. You'd almost think I faked that one. And I didn't, which is good. Okay, 
So here I have that cute one. I have a blue moon. Well, I don't want really a blue moon. I want a white moon. So I am, or ooh, light when blue. When do you expect to get this dye back in stock, Stephanie, since it is sold out? Uh, approximately 30 days, but I did ask okay. them to put a rush on it. Okay. And so I'm gonna grab that one really quick and I'm gonna do just the moon. This is like absolutely perfect too for the um, camper. I'm telling you. Okay, so now we have that cute little moon cut out. Let's get rid of this. Now we need to do the, oh, no, I didn't have that. What color did I say I, was, I wanted to do with this? Oh, I said light blue, light blue. Oh, wait a minute. A uh, little darker than that. So let's do, uh-oh, we might need to get some. Yeah, Kate got all my awesome scraps, which that's true love if you give your kid your scraps. Uh, oh, perfect, uh, too dark. Uh, let's see. So what, what are some of the answers, Kenny, on the poll question? Um, Alma says she has five. Five. Kelly Miller, she has three electric and four manual. Go you, Kelly. Eight. Elizabeth. Patsy says eight. Elizabeth says eight. I think you guys are You crazy. girls are. <laughs> you guys have big rooms then because my room. These are way higher than I expected. Yeah, Ken, Ken's pole probably doesn't even go that high, does it? No, it's just four or more. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Ken Cheryl doesn't know says, us very well, does he? Cheryl says she has 10. 10? Ten. Ten. Sheila has 10. Irene, 10. Okay, so now... <laughs> no here wonder your is... husbands are all poor. <laughs> <laughs> so here is the inside. So let's look at this again, Kenny, on the overhead. Okay. So it cuts out three main pieces, and I gotta get my uh, tweezers out. So it cuts out three main pieces. There you can see that one, because it's a little dark to see it on there. And then it cuts out, whoop, doesn't cut out that one. I actually use that. I have to die cut this in, I think I said I wanted to do gray. Now don't forget, always clean your dyes because a dirty dye is gonna mean a mirror paper. Where's silver, oh yeah, mirror paper. Why is she, where's silver, oh yeah, mirror paper. Fine. Hello my friends, I think we're back. So sorry. Proof that this is all live. <laughs> Literally, Facebook went down and then YouTube went down and then we realized something was wrong on our end and it looks like we are finally back. Ken, when you get a chance, can you um, redo my uh, YouTube chat? Um, I see it moving on your side, but it's not moving on my side. Uh, so, whoa! Sorry about that, everyone. Um, I did not go any further on my card because I didn't want you to miss anything. So uh, don't worry, you did not miss anything. And of course, this is all being recorded. So you uh, can always, of course, go back and watch it. But, uh, and Kenny will take out that spot where we weren't there <laughs> in the recorded version. But we are back live, I'm told. And there we are. Stephanie Z says we are back. Sorry. Thank you all for hanging tight with us. Um, poor Ken is like, you guys, I need one of you to come witness everything Ken has to do because I get to do the easy stuff. He has, a, I'm going to count one day all the keys he has to deal with over there. So sorry about that. Let's jump right back in. I did not do anything. So here I have my card so far, right? This is my little fence and we're going to go to three. So oh, there we go. Look at that. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add all my background and I didn't, that was separate. So here I'm going to add this one, but first I've already added adhesive to the back of the swirls and I'm just going to add that right on top, right there. Look at that. And another cool thing is this is, this is only one layer and this is two layers because I have the gray and the brown. So it kind of pops that up just a little bit, which is really cool because then, you know, you kind of have just like a little tiny bit of extra, you know, uh, what am I trying to say, like dimension there. So that looked a little crooked, so I wanna make sure I'm getting, okay, there we go, that looks better. Whoops, let's do that again, there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna add this silver, I'm gonna add the silver. So let's just say that little break in the internet service was just the potty break. <laughs> okay, so I'm peeling this up, and now I'm adding the silver mirror to this. Right there. Are we sold out on the mirror stuff right now, Kenny, the foil papers? 
Either sold out or Ugh. very, very low. I am. I love them so much. Okay, so I am going to take my midnight color. This is midnight cardstock. Of course, I added the adhesive on the back. I'm just peeling that all up. And I'm going to add this right on top. Look at this, you guys. And now I have, oh my gosh, look at that on camera even. It looks even better on camera. Oh, look at that. They twi they literally are twinkling. Sometimes I think that like I even surprise myself. Okay, that was, that was awesome. Okay, so now I'm gonna add the cute little light moon, light blue moon, um, just because to be different. I could leave a silver moon, but I'm gonna, I wanna do light blue. There we go, okay. Intermission, Ponzi said. I love that. I love that. Joe said we didn't get to see how you did the bricks. All I did, Joe, was I die cut it out of the sep out of this piece right here. Uh, where did I put it? The hidden die. Did I already? Oh, here it is. So I used the die that's coming soon, and I die cut this out of the light brown, and then I just added ink to the top of it. I just added ink to the top. That was already done before the video started. So I just added a little bit of ink. So now we have my background. Look at that, you guys. Is that like the coolest background you ever saw in your life or what? Especially with those twinkling lights. <gasps> oh, I love those. Okay, so now what we're gonna do. Um, oh, and just a heads up, uh, those of you that did not get this die, make sure you go click the notify me on this die so when it does come back in stock you can get a notification okay now what i'm going to do next is show you another sneak peek okay now this is part of our card kit sneak peek so i mean you kind of already know this is going to happen because it always just does but hello colored sheets and i've you can tell i've already used some of them and oh and by the way uh just a heads up i can't show you the pad but yes, it is true, it is a larger pad this month, which is not the brightest thing, it's on the other side. Ooh, see, it was right there. Um, but um, was not the smartest thing for us to do because paper is so hard to get a hold of right now, but uh, we just wanted to throw that in, so make sure you are a Kit Club member. Okay, and Kit Club members in June are getting a freebie we have never done before. What? Ever. I know. Eva. And diehards are getting um, a freebie this month, right, Kenny? Uh, every, every, yes, every, yes. every, Everybody, every club this month. Every club. Oh, even Stamp Club's getting one. Yay! Yes. Okay, Stamp Club's getting one too. So now I'm just die cutting this. And I'm bringing over my cute little camper. Camper, camper. Look how cute that is. Okay. And now what I'm going to do is. I am, because sometimes I just can't handle it. Hang on. Let's find, uh, let's do, uh, where's a gray? I am going to get a gray brush and get my gray ink because sometimes, not very often, I'll be honest, not very often, but sometimes, and I'm gonna show you this really cool trick, okay? Sometimes, again, it's not very often, the white shadow sometimes bothers. Oh, can you do three? Sometimes the white shadow bothers me on thing on die cut things. Now, yes, we give you the inside die, right? So if the white shadow bothers you, you just use the inside die to cut it out and boom, done, right? But I don't want to do that because I want to do something else instead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of scratch paper and I'm going to die cut this inside die. Okay. Watch this, you guys. I'm going to die cut this inside die and I'm going to make it a mask. So I just die cut the inside die. It is now going to be my mask. Now, some of the pieces do cut out. Don't worry, that's not gonna be a problem. I'm going to add a little, little, tiny, tiny bit of adhesive there, there, and there. Just a little bit, and I'm gonna kinda wipe some of it off because I don't want it to stick very long. And I'm going to lay, well, let's move this. I'm going to lay this on top of that colored paper, okay? Just like that. Now, what that's gonna do is that, is, let's get some, scratch. Now I am going to take my light gray ink and it 
it's not sticking as well as I wanted it to, but okay. So now I have that right there and I'm going to lightly go over that white border, okay? Because I want the border, I just don't want it to be bright, bright white. Now normally you could, if you didn't want it to be bright white, you could easily stamp on like light gray paper and do this, but because this was already die cut, I mean, because this was already colored, I didn't have that option. So this is what I'm doing. See how I'm holding down the mask and I'm lightly going over the edge to get rid of that bright, bright white. Because sometimes it's just a little too bright. Okay, now, and I just used cloud for that. Now I'm gonna lift that up. And now, you guys, is that totally awesome or what? Now it's no longer bright white. It's now just a nice soft color, light gray, light, light gray. And now look at this, you guys, I can easily put that right there. So I'm going to get some adhesive foam and where's a piece of adhesive foam? There's some, and I'm going to get some, of course I, oh, remember this is from my balloon fold that I made. Of course, you're going to save all your scraps because now they are pop dots, right? And we're going to add adhesive to this. And any questions you have, we are going to answer at the end of the video. That way I can actually look at and see all your questions. Okay, so now I'm going to add this right here so it looks like it's kind of like on that little road. Right there, boom. Now I'm calling the front done, okay? I'm calling the front done. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the inside. I told you already we were going to use that pop-up that came in the card kit in May. It pops up. Let me show you it again. Here, here it is, and you're going to open it up, and then it pops up like that. See that? So that's what it looks like when it's all done. And I think a lot of people were overthinking it, and so that is why we're doing this. So here I have, I die cut it already. It's hard to see because it's like the same color as that. So here I've die cut it already. I've just taken the largest die and die cut it, right? Boom, done. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it in the center and fold it back so it's nice and easy to maneuver, right? Boom, 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 boom. Then I am going to fold these just like that, just like that. And the plan is I am going to lay this in there just like this, and then it's gonna pop open, okay? So open the flaps. Remember, 99.9% 99, .9 of my dies, I can't think of one that you don't put the adhesive on the back. You always put it on top of the flap, okay? So we're adding the adhesive on top of the flap. Turn it around. On top of the flap. Okay, do I put it on here? No, only on the top of the flap. Only on the top of the flap. Okay, now you're gonna fold it and like kind of put it in your card. And what I like to do is wait, make sure I'm doing this the right way. Okay, so I'm gonna, I don't want it to be in the middle. I want it to be a little bit up to the top, middle, top, whatever. And I'm gonna lay those down, keep that in my fold, and press. Ready? Dun 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 and you end this, that reason why, oh, it's not sticking right there. The reason why you want to really make sure this goes back and forth each way a lot is because it needs to do that back and forth each way, right? It needs to go that way and then when you open it up, it goes like that. So that's how easy peasy it is. So now what I'm gonna do is decorate this. So I've already, and it, it doesn't like when you flatten it, so don't do that what I just did. <laughs> it doesn't like when you flatten it completely. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, so what I just did just now that kind of messed it up is I flattened it completely and it, it needs to have it at this angle. Okay, so don't, don't flatten it completely once you glue it in there. So normally I would decorate this first and then put it in. Okay, so just decorate it first. So what I'm going to do is I've already die cut the layering pieces that go in here. And I'm going to add that. So I'm just going to lay that right there. You know we're gonna always give you the layering pieces, right? It's kind of like a thing with me. <laughs> oh, the stories I could tell. Okay, so we're moving on and we're adding layering dice here, layering dice here. And we're gonna add that right there, just like that. 
Okay, so now, ready? Let's watch it again. Woo, pop up, pop up. Okay, so now we have our inside. So what I wanna do is I want to say happy camper, and I haven't decided this 100% yet. Oh, so I'm gonna have it say on this side, adventure is coming, and then it's gonna say over here, happy camper, okay? So I'm thinking I still need like something else to go around this because like it's kind of a little more boring. Uh, so let's see. Oh, let's do our con chat contest right now. Kenny, you wanna do one? Yes. So what we're gonna do is our chat contest. Um, Lisa said she just bought a camper that looks like this. Ah, oh, perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do our chat contest. Everyone can enter, totally free to enter. How do you enter the chat contest? You just type in your answer dun, 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 in the chat and you're automatically entered to win. Uh, we're gonna have three winners, $10 each. Everyone gets to be involved. It doesn't matter where you live, it's worldwide, anyone's allowed to enter, okay? The question of today is, I was making a bagel today and I realized I toasted it in the broiler because for some random reason in all the moves we've done, we do not have a toaster. I don't know how these things happen. But, so I was broiling my... Broil. I was, yeah, I was on broil. broil and I have, the problem with broil is I literally have to stand there and hold my hand on the broiler, on the oven handle and watch it with the light on because if I step away, I will forget. And I think it's only happened once this week, right, Kenny? Where I forgot? I think so. I haven't been here all the time. You cook bagels, so it could be more. No, it's but one nice. that I know of. <laughs> Not a good thing, because they go black fast, it burnt. Okay, Crispy. so my question today is: I was totally, totally, totally. Cami says toasters are so cheap. I know, but you know what? So is Stephanie. <laughs> That's why my clubs are so cheap, because if I wouldn't be in the club, then I can't ask you to be in the club. So yeah, I, I'm too cheap to buy a toaster, I'll be honest, it's the truth. Are you gonna pull out my next chat? Am I gonna get that chat eventually? What chat? Uh, I only see one chat. I don't know which uh, is which. I don't know what happened to it. But I only see one. It was over there. So um, my question to you today is, when I toasted my bagel in the broiler, because I'm too cheap to buy a toaster, I got I put I got it out, put it on my paper towel, and I got my butter. Mary says buy a toaster, Stephanie. No, I'm not going to. Break down. I know. And I'm not going to. <laughs> and nobody is allowed to buy me one. I'm if you buy, buy me one, one, I'm gonna send it back. Everyone, Stephanie's no. birthday is in August. Shut you up. can send her a no, toaster. Don't. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, do not buy it me a toaster. It can even be an old used Can't be saying Kenny buy her toaster. No, no toasters. Okay, so our kitchen is so small, there's nowhere to put a toaster anyway. Um, so I got my bagel out and I was going to butter it. And I just have to tell you how happy and delighted I was that I store my butter on my countertop. My mom bought me this cute little ceramic butter dish that has a cute little lid. And so my butter stays on my counter. Now, I did not start doing this. Kenny and I have been married over 30 years. I never started doing this until last August. Why in August? I have no idea. But we left the butter out once and then the next day I went to use it and it was nice and soft and it melted so fast. And I'm like, oh, the angels sung, sing. So my question to you is, do you store your butter in the fridge at room temperature, meaning in the pantry or on the counter, or both, or do you not use butter at all? Because when I was a little girl, my mom only used golden serve margarine or country crock. crock. Yummy. Crunchy, cr crunchy, country crock margarine. Oh, Denise says her air fryer works for toast. Does yours get, have you tried that? I have not, toast? but I have an air fryer because of I all know. of you. Does it toast it? I'm gonna to need to do that. Okay, so do you keep it in the fridge? Do you use it on the uh, air temperature? Jeff says both. Both, see, I have both too, Jeff. Jeffrey, I have both too, honestly, because I keep the extra butter in the fridge and I keep the room temperature on the counter. 
Fridge, fridge, fridge. And my butter dish is Nancy so cute. No butter. Show it to you. No butter, Nancy. <laughs> wow, you're missing out. Nancy, why no butter? Butter is so good. Everything is better with butter. Definitely more people are saying fridge, which has always been okay, you in guys. the past. Okay, those of you that have it in the fridge, would you do me a small favor? Would you take half a cube and put it in a covered dish and leave it on your countertop and use it a couple times? Because I will turn you into a believer. This is your assignment and you can- This is your assignment. You'll have to report back yes. next week. On Monday, they can report back on No Makeup Monday. Fridge, counter, fridge, counter, counter, both, both. I'm, I'm all for the both. Fridge, I lived many years in Florida and could never make anything perishable on the counter. <laughs> yeah, I get that. I get that. In the fridge, on the counter, and fridge, Nancy. Whoa! Fridge. For lots some of reason, fridge. ants don't go to butter, right? Our ants haven't. We have little baby ants. What were they going to the other day? Did you ever find out? Uh, all the junk that was on the counter. The babies, babies <laughs> have stuff out. I blame the babies. Okay, <laughs> while you guys are voting, I still have to figure out what I'm doing over here. So, let's see. Let's grab a... So, are you here seeing any other interesting well, ideas? What are the options? Fridge, counter, or both? Or I don't eat butter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but Nancy, my friend, I want you to try some butter. Hmm. Oh, Don says she even keeps them in the freezer. Freezer. <laughs> freezer. Do we not have rounded rectangles? I mean, rounded squares. Okay, people. How can you have a rounded square? Is my first question. <laughs> rounded corner square. How, I have a baby raccoon in my garage. <gasps> oh, Did careful. you touch it? Did you get to pet it? I, it went by too fast. I didn't get to see the ant. I didn't get to see who who said careful. that. I love raccoons. That's a, that's my other animal. My other spirit <laughs> animal. Oh, and by the way, I'm so mad at Ken. You know how Miller was always my person, like. He was my person and I was his person. Ken had the nerve to sit down on a bench yesterday, two days ago, and Miller was sitting next to him and he looked at me and he said, Miller, you used to be Nana's person, but now you're my person. Mm -hmm. It will change another Wait. week. <laughs> He'll be back. <laughs> Those are fighting words if you ask me. Those are you are sleeping on the couch words if you're asking me. He flip flops. What? He flip flops like. He'll be your buddy for a while, and then you know, Oh, he flip-flops. I didn't know what you were talking about. I'm like, what do you mean, add flip-flops? No, he flip-flops. Like. Yes, he does. But I'm still, like, extremely offended you even brought that up. <laughs> okay, so I'm still looking well, for... Well, you kept saying that, and I knew it wasn't true. I knew he loved me just as much as he loves you. No, it, he has to love me more. <laughs> that's just, like, my law. Well, no. That's yeah. not how it is right now. Well, that's not right. <laughs> me and him are, like... Shut up. Like, uh, nope, Diet Coke don't and tell ice. me. <laughs> don't tell me. How can we not, you guys, do we not have rounded rectangles? I mean, squares. <laughs> this is really bothering me because I know I have them. I just might not have them here. Uh, okay. Where Are else they would answering you? Have them, you? Stephanie? Oh, remember when I said I couldn't find the rainbow from the baby's birthday party? It's right here. Hmm. Ugh, do you keep your dyes in another part of the house? What? Do you keep any of your dyes in another part of the house? Yes. Well, I keep them in that closet if they're not on on the website yet. I try to keep them off site here because I don't want to accidentally use them. Okay. Well, this is really ticking me off. Okay. Um oh, fine. I'm just going to I'm just going to stamp it cuz I'll just go crazy. Okay. So, we're just going to stamp it. So, what is everybody else saying? Check it out. They're all up there. Okay. Fridge, fridge. Amanda, my granddaughter, is my sidekick all day, every day. I love that. Yeah, well, Miller used to be mine. <laughs> He'll be back, Stephanie. Who do you think feeds the kid? Uh, exactly. Who do you think packs his exactly. lunch? That's why Who do be, you think? That's why he'll be back. He'll remember. My Nana takes care of me. Yeah, Ma <laughs> Nana loves him. Nana does everything for him. But Grandpa's fun. Yeah, Gram oh, Grandpa, Gaga's more fun. Um, okay, so Carmen says, store it in the fridge, take it out to soften. Okay, Carmen, but what if you, you decide, about it. yeah, what if you decide, oh, I want a bagel. Oh, the butter's going to take an hour to soften. What are you going to do about that? 
Okay, so here I have my Happy Camper. Did I die cut this yet? Oh my gosh, you guys, sorry. I'm just like in la la. Okay, here, I have it in green. Okay, so I'm gonna die cut this in green. Oh. Yeah, so I'm telling you, you guys, those of you that have never done the butter on the counter, I want you to try it and report back because I'm telling you, changed my life. Nothing's better than putting nice soft butter on your stuff. Okay, so I got my cute little camper. Now it says the dyes themselves say, whoops, the dyes might themselves say I'm a happy camper. But the cool thing about this, and I don't think I have them here, but the cool thing, oh, here it is. The cool thing is you can have it say, well, you can't read it, but you can have it say, I'm a happy camper or happy camper, or I'm, or you could just have it say, I'm happy, or you could say, I'm a camper. So there's lots and lots of different options, which is kind of cool. So I didn't do it all in one die because I wanted you to have more options. So like right now, I'm not gonna say I'm a happy camper. I'm just gonna say happy camper because somebody's adventure is coming. So I'm gonna add this. And Kirsten said she wants to take the babies camping pretty soon. So this would be a good what? card for her. I know she's nuts. Uh -huh. Gosh, uh -huh. I know that kid's nuts. It's a challenge to just take them to dinner. I know. Yeah. Taking them to a restaurant, you guys, is just like exhausting. Ken and I get our dinners to go. That's what we do. Everybody else eats again. and we, we watch the kids. Because they got to learn. We haven't done that for a long time. To go. I know. We kind of got tired of it. Stone fire. Stone fire. Oh, yeah. That one's pretty decent. It just works out. Yeah. You can kind of go crazy there and nobody even knows. Nobody says anything. <laughs> yeah, because it's kind of loud and there's yeah. no real servers. Yeah. Okay. So I'm adding the happy right here. And I got to spice this up with some color. Of course, you know, I'm going to use epoxy dots and I'm going to add this one. Happy camper. Look how cute that is. Now, OK, I'm going to have to show you another sneak peek because this is driving me crazy. Don't let him see this, Kenny. Uh oh, um, don't let him don't see. Let him, don't show him. I'm not. Do you I'm want me to go to here. black screen right now? No, don't go to black <laughs> screen. <laughs> Oh, okay. I was going to say, no, <laughs> one. Okay. So that one, huh? I'm trying to, I've already attacked this pad quite a bit. Oh, this one. Okay, okay. Stephanie. What? I'm getting it. I'm almost there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm showing you trimmer that I do. Um, oh, you know, what's even better is doing this. Grabbing the die, so I want to add a little bit of this paper from the card kit. So another sneak peek. Thank you very much. And I just want to add, hang on. And a reminder, we'll be doing our questions and answers pretty soon here. So Almost there, guys. Yeah. Almost done. Save them up. And then we'll try to answer all we can. Okay, so I'm going to add that just right there. So what I'm doing is I'm die cutting my little border. Because well, I Stephanie, wanna... just so you know, the poll results on our dye machines uh -huh. was like almost 70% of the people watching have four or more machines. Wow. Impressive, huh? Yes. They're lifers. <laughs> four or more. Okay. So you got to pick three winners, Kenny. Yes, I have our winners. Okay. Go ahead and announce them while I do this. Our first winner is from YouTube and she says fridge and it's Candy Welsh. Candy Welsh. Candy Woo! Welsh, yes. You just won a twenty a ten dollar gift certificate to the website. And then our next winner is from the Stamps of Life website. And she also says fridge. It's Carmen Stillwagon. Carmen, you just won a ten dollar gift certificate to the website. And our last winner is from Facebook. And I'm not sure exactly what her answer is. You don't remember? No. Well, she says, like bread on toast. Okay. No, or wait, like butter. No, I'm sorry. Like butter on toast. Sorry, sorry. Like butter on toast. Uh huh. And it is Susan Sheehy. Okay, Susan Sheehy and the other two or, ladies. I'm sorry, she said like bread and butter. I'm oh, bread and up. butter. He is. He's sick. I'm yeah. under the weather, so sorry about that, yeah. Susan. She said like bread and butter. Okay, so. 
Those three winners are going to email Faylene at info at the stamps of life.com and she is going to get that out to you uh, probably in the next day or so. Um, I hope this is not a sneak peek. Were those ten dollars? Ten dollar gift certificates. Yep. Okay. So I'm getting out some epoxy dots that I hope are not sneak peeks because I already gave you two. And uh, I'm going to add some little dots. Now I'm going to go a little nuts with these. Ooh, that one got stuck because I can and I have a lot. And this side over here is really bothering me, so I got to do something. So three, four. Five. Look at that. Uh, okay, that's good enough. Okay, so now, last but not least, we're going to add our stamp on the back. And, and, ooh, Diet Coke. One. So this die was really easy, right, Stephanie? I'm sorry? Just, oh, yeah. You just, you just add yeah, adhesive just to the... How to use it. Okay. Yeah, you add adhesive to the tabs. Fold it, and then throw it in there. Okay, so now I am going to stamp this. It says, created by Stephanie with love and lots of Diet Coke. What? Okay, now let's look at it and then we can start answering questions. So here we go. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at the twinkle lights. Look at the twinkle lights. What did you do to do that? Foil? Uh, foil paper behind it, yes. Nice. Okay, Jeffrey's so nice. He says, congrats all. Open it up. Happy camper, awesome. Adventure is coming, happy camper. And I added happy camper paper to the bottom. Total sneak peek on the kit right there. And on the back, created by Stephanie with love and lots of Diet Coke. What? I know. So this is like a double whammy card because it's like the front and the back. Okay, so we are going to, Ken says we're going to answer questions now. So thank you, everybody saying beautiful card. Thank you, you guys. Thank you. Um, April says, it sounds like I am behind in the number of machines I own. You know what? No, uh, you're not, April. You're not missing um, out. But I will be honest, Katie has been using my mid-D, M-I-D-I, and I don't think she's going to give it back because she's like, this machine's so easy. And I go, I know. Is that a powered machine or is it? No, it's, a, it's not, oh. because she, which is good because she always loses it. She lives in an old place and she always loses electricity, like almost weekly now crazy um so let me oh the garage door finally started working at her house by the way Ken great just so you know um because she didn't have electricity to get into her, her garage um Tina says thank you for sharing the um the die from the from the club definitely easier to see you do it thanks yeah and you know what uh who said that oh I already lost it it's already gone but yeah I had a feeling people were trying to overthink it and then it's like just so dang easy. Sometimes you're like, oh, that's too easy. Wait, there's got to be something more to it. I know. Isn't that awesome? What would be cool too is you could use the layering dies and you could like die cut windows or you could do like a, you could die cut a star out of it or something. So really fun. Oh, Jeffrey, you're so sweet. Thank you. Um, Janice says, love my midi. I know. I know. Tara says the twinkle is awesome. Thank you. Love that starry sky. I know. Me too. What about Liam? Mary said, um, you got to hit that arrow for me. Yeah. Um, Liam is just a happy boy. Whoever has what he wants, you will be his person. He's never really had a person, has he? No, I think she's asking about stamps. Oh, oh stamps. Um, that, he, Liam is on the schedule. I think in July. I think. I'm pretty sure in July. Um, oh, can he, well, I can't. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, Janice says, any idea when the Slimline box bundle will be back? I've missed it twice. Uh, yeah, I know. It literally, we had, they, so I ordered them and they gave me what they had. And then I, we sold out instantly. And so then I said, okay, by chance do you have any more? Because I know we're waiting, but by chance do you have any more? And they said, oh, well, we have X amount. And I said, I'll take them. So those went on the website, sold out instantly. Um, I've already placed my order. The last I heard was July 11th. They will be back in stock. So the week of July 11th, give or take a week, is when they will be there. Make sure you have that notify me button checked. Um, and I ordered a lot, so I'm hoping we can keep them in stock finally. Because in all honesty, Bonnie says love their food at Stonefire. In all honesty, I need another one too. I can't even get another one. I only have one. 
I can't even get another one. Um, I need it because I want to do my slimline foldits in one and then my slimline panels in another. Um, so yes. Um, let's see. Uh, blue button, blue button. Yeah. Are there shoes for little peeps coming? Yes, there chance? are. Okay, that was a question. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Oh, Judy says, hi, all. Um, we'll have to watch the replay to catch up. I love your new sign. Thank you. I do too. I'm, I'm actually very excited that it um, looks pretty cool. It almost looks like it's floating, so I like it. Um, Tara wants to know, do these even exist? Are there six by six tab pocket dividers? Yes, there are. Actually, write that down, because that was on my list. Um, <sighs> Uh, they should be on the website, and I have a feeling they are not, but yes. You've had them before? No, we have not. Oh, I don't first think. time? Okay. I don't think. Uh, when will the t-shirt dies be available again? Do you know when you ship some up there? Did you ship some up there? T-shirt dies? No, we don't. And that might be a retired item? Uh, I don't know. Kenny will look into it. Look. Uh... Uh... Someday we will get a camper folded. Someday. Um... Margaret okay. wanted to know if there's an A1 card in this kit. I have or, no idea. That's a surprise, right? I have, You're not well, in all honesty, I have no idea. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> um, but you are getting a freebie and you are getting a 6x9 paper pad. But I don't remember what the die is. I don't remember. Judy says, Ken, I hope you get feel better soon. Thank that you. Is. Susan says, there's no rounded corners on the square corners on the... Oh, write that down. Rounded squares. Um, there are no rounded squares. Correct. And how can, and my question again was how you can have a rounded square. But we'll make it happen. I have samples <laughs> literally <laughs> in this room somewhere, so I don't know why they're not on the website. Uh -huh. uh, Cookie is not here. She must be no. in the other room. No. No? She's, no. She's pouting. She's pouting. Yeah. She um, has a miserable life. Elgar says it's good to get our Stephanie and Ken and Stamps of Life family fix. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Mary, you know what? We're no longer carrying um, t-shirts. We're no longer carrying the t-shirts. So instead, what we've done is we have our logos in digital format on our website. I think they cost like $2.99 or something. And that way you can um, get it and print it out yourself and, and uh, iron it onto whatever size t-shirt you want um, because it, it's too hard because then people were started saying oh I want a sweatshirt or oh I want long sleeve or oh I want this and I'm like okay I, I can't carry everything so uh, that was our compromise so look for our uh, the digital logo and if you don't have a Cricut machine or an electronic machine maybe you have a friend that does and if not you can always go on the fan page I'm sure somebody there would for a couple dollars maybe print one, cut one out for you out of iron on it um, stuff and then you could um make your own who is liam person mary said who is liam? your grandson uh liam is my grandson i have two grandkids um they're two they're twins actually um oh here i do have a cute um uh i do have a cute video that kirsten did say i could show um because it was too dang cute um actually i have well this is a short one you want to do three Okay, this is a very short one, and then there's a longer one. Ready? This is our grandkids. Whoops. Whoops, hang on. Turn. How come it's not turning? Oh, there. Okay, wait. Okay, turn it up. Okay, that's Liam. Okay, that was just Liam. But this is Miller and Liam learning something naughty. <laughs> I don't even know how he does that. That hurts my body just thinking of trying to do that. I know. Can they hear this though? A little. Didn't work. Um, okay, so that's our naughty babies. Hang on. Oh, here's another cute one. Are you stuck?
Liam, I think brother's stuck. Oh, don't eat those. Don't eat those. You're so silly. I think brother's stuck. I'm not stuck. You're not stuck. Don't you eat those, naughty. Whoa. Okay. Yeah, naughty. <laughs> Naughty's the key word here. <laughs> um, actually, the reason why I kept saying, are you stuck, is because earlier, Miller said he was stuck in the ball pit, and brother went and grabbed his shirt and pulled him out by the shirt and said, I save you, brother. So I was trying to get it on video, and I didn't. But I just wish our entire life was on video, because there's a lot of pe moments I want to keep. Francis says it's a cool ball pit. Best ball pit ever. It is, it is amazing. I bought it on um, Amazon and I did a lot of research to find one that, and, and it, the really cool thing is if when you want to put it away, you literally can fold it up and put it in a garbage bag and it kind of folds up. So it's awesome. Um, Sandy says, can you write this down? Please add my brother David to your prayer list. He's in the final stages of cancer and is being taken off the ventilator tomorrow. Oh, Sandy. Kenny and I will add you to our prayer list. Yeah, if any of you need prayer, this is a good time to post it because a lot of us will see it and then we can all be praying. So if you have a prayer request, go ahead and add it now. It'd be great. We'll Don says, you guys are so generous with freebies. I joined last July and got the rest of 2021 with freebies for the Die Hard Club and you're doing it again. Love you guys. Thank you, Don. Um, I appreciate that. Uh, why do we do that? Well, one, because Stephanie's cheap and she wants... Um, if she was in a club, she would want freebies too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and so that's one of the reasons. The other reason is um, Kenny and I will sometimes be sitting at dinner and we'll just think about how thankful we are for all of our club members, our customers too, but our club members especially. And the way that we can say thank you is by giving you free stuff. Um, I wish I could go to each and every one of your houses and give you a hug, but because I can't, um, this is the next best thing. So you're getting freebies. Die Hard's getting freebies every month for the rest of the year. Um, stamp Club every once in a while, Kit Club, you are getting a freebie this month that we've never done before. So Jane says a little sass there. Oh yes, they are so funny. Susan wants to know, where are Miller's glasses? Oh, good question. <laughs> it's becoming um, more of a battle, right? Um, uh, Shirley says, have you hung your birthday plaque? Yes, I did. And it's nice to add it. I, um, Tiffany's birthday was June 1st, by the way. Hope you guys all told her happy birthday. But yes, Shirley, I love it. I absolutely love it. Um, where were Miller's glasses? So if you were to have asked Miller yesterday, Miller, where are your glasses? He would have answered at the farm. Oh yeah, that's right. They really were gone. Because they were at the farm. Mommy um, took them to uh, a farm in Irvine, uh, Tanaka Farms, I think it's called. And mom put them on, um, on her shirt because brother, once they get dirty, he won't wear them anymore. So she put them on her shirt. She got them into the car and the glasses didn't go home with them. She called the farm and luckily somebody had turned them in. And the person on the phone said, well, describe them. And she said, well, they're toddler glasses. They're dark rimmed with the little hooks around the ear so they stay on. And the person on the phone said, what color's the stripe? <laughs> and Kirsten looked at me and I said, uh, is the stripe blue? I knew it. And Ken knew the answer. The stripe is yellow. Like I would have honestly had to have gone to an old picture or video to know which color the stripe was. What? So yes, she did get that back. So, but that's where it was. That's where it was. Kathy says, thanks for the $10 gift certificate you gave her last week. She Yay, used, you were a winner, winner, winner. Good. Uh, Lisa says, I need to get several of the kit paper pads this month. Can't wait to see the whole kit. Lisa, I know it's an awesome one. Oh, oh. And just a heads uh -huh. up, because it's larger, we did order some extras, but get your orders in for fast on the 15th, what? Diane thinks maybe the question about Liam was, who is Liam's person? Oh, who is Liam's person? He's got no person. He right? doesn't have a person. <laughs> He's just happy. He's yeah. like Lemon. Lemon doesn't have a person. Lemon yeah. just loves everyone. Yeah. And that's just kind of how Liam is. Mm -hmm. That's just how Liam is. He's just a happy so. boy. Sally Jo says, pray for Naomi, my friend's first grandchild born at 27 weeks. She weighs 2.2 pounds and is only 14 and a half inches mm -hmm. tall. Oh my gosh. Yes, Sally Jo, we will be praying. That that has a special spot right here in my heart because our babies were early too. So, oh. 
Absolutely. Um, Jeannie says, thank God somebody turned the glasses in. <laughs> yes, absolutely, because those glasses are freakishly expensive. Best scam on earth, you guys. If you ever want a new business to get into, get into toddler glasses because every three weeks she has to get a new pair because the scratch resistant glasses are only scratch resistant when an adult is cleaning them. They are not scratch resistant when a two year old is wearing them. That is what they told Kirsten. It's just a joy. <sighs> um, Paws and Crafts said, Hubby said, not only do you buy stamps of life when you watch Stephanie, now she makes Amazon ask me what I want to shop for. When you said you purchased the ball pit on Amazon. I know, <laughs> I know, but the ball pit's really cool. And Paws and Craft, if you need the link to it. Actually, I think I know there's a way you can find what I bought because I left a, um, uh, a review on it because I loved it so much. So if you go to Stamps of Life Reviews, I think you can search it that way, just saying. I can't tell you guys all to email Faleen because <laughs> Ken will kill me. We need um, to all get in, we need to get into the affiliate link. I know, thing. I know. I just don't wanna, <laughs> it just makes me feel awkward. I know, I'm teasing. Um, but I'm just saying, you give out a lot of tips and I'm sure a lot of people buy these items. So. Um, Ponzi says, will Stamps of Life make more 3D pop-up insert dies? You currently have one and two. I need an option with more tabs to add more small images. Write that down, Kenny. Um, that's a good idea, Ponzi. 3D um, pop-ups with more, um, more, uh, more tabs. tabs for smaller images. Um, I did see that uh, Lori asked for prayer for her sister, Gail. She has lung cancer, oh. so we did write that down. Good, good, Kenny got it. Um, let's see. Oh, Grinelda says, good night, everyone, not feeling well. Oh, Grinelda. Uh, well, you know what, my love, you're not missing anything because we're going to head out right now too, okay? Yeah. We're going to head out. So, my friends, thank you all so much. Thank you for your love, your support, and your prayers. Um, and also thank you for um, waiting through that long intermission we had tonight. Uh, you just can't make this stuff up, right? And, you know, life, li I say live TV, it's not TV, but live video, you just never know what's going to happen. So, but my friends, thank you all so much for, um, for everything. Uh, we appreciate each and every one of you. And like I said, we are thankful for each and every one of you. So, uh, we will be no makeup Monday on Monday at 10 AM Pacific and, uh, next Thursday, same time, same place, 5 PM Pacific, 8 PM Eastern for another crafting corner. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but I'm sure I'll think of something. So, and don't forget if you wanted that try background and you didn't get it, make sure you click the notify me because it's going to go fast again. I just have a feeling. So thank you all so much. Stay, stay, stay safe, stay happy, stay healthy, and I will see you on Monday. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye.